All right, love, peace, and soul, y'all. What's going on? This is Empress Phoenix Fire. We're going to do a Divine Masculine read. Even out the playing field, Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine, you looking for her, honey. Yep, ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Whole bunch of oldie songs been coming in through for the challenge for the divine masculine. Hold on, y'all. Let me get the cards together. I'm trying to do get a good angle on this. I'm not sure. Hold on, let me check the angle. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. All right, divine masculine. Yeah, there's a lot of oldies but goodies that's been coming up, coming forward. That you have been telepathically expressing yourself, most definitely. Oh, yeah. Even if she don't know it's directly coming from you, she know it's coming from somebody. Yeah. You're my darling, darling, baby. You're my sweet and tender love. You're everything I ever hoped for in a woman. And as long as I shall live. Yep. Give it to you, give it to you, give it to you, give it to you. You're my darling, darling, baby. Yo, that's what came through. You're my sweet and tender love. You're everything. Very special woman. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> All that. All that divine... Pfft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you afraid of? There was a um Netflix children's special with Apuk. Okay. They had a lot of Mexican um deities. Look how he's on the Omec head though. Mm. And then we got Zeus leadership. And look at him with the Nazis, okay, with the eagle here. Bottom of the deck, we got Apollo inquiry. All right, from A to Z, literally divine masculine, from A to Z, this is how your energy has been spanning. You've been going from love to hate, fear to um, courage. Like, you go back and forth and you're feeling like it all depends on what you're going through for the day. It all depends on what you're going through for the day, Divine Masculine. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. I And then with this fear card, I also feel like um, there's some sort of energy that or transition that is needed to be made that you are fearing and taking into. But with this eclipse that's coming up, I'm telling you in Scorpio... I feel like you're not going to be able to, um, like, you're going to be pushed past your fear and into your leadership bag and into you claiming what's yours and into you inquiring about a possibility for the future, okay? whether No, it doesn't necessarily just have to be romance, right? All right, lately I've been starting out pulling out with the tea leaf cards. I, I, I've been wanting this deck for the longest time. And I finally got it, and it has been working. I've been working well with it. Okay, what's this? We got dog protection from a powerful friend. Ooh, Divine Masculine Star guarantees success. Wait. I hope you can see it. I hope it's focusing. Trying something new, y'all. Let me get one more for the side. 
Nice, one more. Guarantee success, Divine Masculine. All right, we got Mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. That's you. Club, someone will try to make you do something against your will. That's Listen, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Like, you're going to be forced. And I feel like the someone is the universe, really and truly. Okay? Yep. Protection from a powerful friend. That powerful friend is the divine feminine. Ha! <laughs> oh, shit. Protection from a powerful friend. Hold on. We got claw. Be careful. Do not take risks. Be, I feel like, too, be careful of holding on to something that you shouldn't. We got eagle here again. Triumph over troubles and obstacles. Look, we got that eagle here twice. You already done know. All right. Look at your eighth house. If you don't have any Scorpio in your chart, look at your eighth house. What's going on? What's the, That's what the hidden is. The taboo. The occult. Look at this. I'm going to take it. Bottom of this deck is cat. A two-faced friend. Okay. With the dog. I'm feeling like a female friend though. And then we got broken bridge. Unsuccessful outcome to a problem. I feel like this is if you do not take heed to the messages that are coming forward right now. You see what I'm saying? Protect. I think you needed to be tech, be protected from this two-faced friend of our masculine. That's exactly what I'm getting. Look, chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. Look, the divine feminine got chair filled and you got chair empty. I'm done. You're holding on to some. You're, hold, you, you're, you're holding space for someone that is not supposed to be sitting in this on this throne. And I feel like this is this is your counterpart. This is your divine feminine's throne. I feel like you have someone that has been sitting in this spot who shouldn't be there. And I think that the, the most high is going to force this person out of this position in your life. Okay? That's what I'm getting big time. Chair empty. You see that? Yeah, because it was a two-faced friend. I'm feeling like fe it could be female friend or a friend that had female qualities, feminine qualities about them. Oh. But you're guaranteed success if you would come out of this stubborn energy of you thinking you know everything. Let's see. You don't need someone else to fix you. Exactly. Only you can heal you. We got Phoenix energy. How's that for a ha happily ever after? And I feel like that's, that's, listen, hold on. And then we got Storm. Every hurricane comes to an end. So what I think, okay, the my masculine, you're fearing this ending. You've been holding on to it. You've been fearing the outcome, and I feel like once you finally let go, um, then I feel like the situation will flip. Okay, every storm comes to an end. This is you holding on to your crown. Okay, this is also that feminine energy. Look, 44. This is also that feminine energy that's supposed to be sitting on this throne. She has, even though she's barefoot, irrespective, she still has her crown. She's been holding on to her crown, even though it, um, tippy toeing around. How's that for have, have uh, Yeah, I think um, this upheaval. I'm getting upheaval energy. We're gonna see what comes out in the tarot, but I'm definitely getting upheaval energy like like nothing is going to be the same 
You know what I mean? Um, you can't, you're not going to be able to hold on to the old cycle. You're not going to be able to, you're not. Most High wanted you to do it yourself with the Phoenix energy. Most High wanted you to do it yourself. Let me pull from here. Let me make some space. Hold on to my master. Let me make some space. Triumph over troubles. Yep. That's all. You want to triumph over your own fears and you being stubborn and thinking that something is for you when it's not. Someone is two-faced. Someone is smiling your face. And he look, healing begins. Six of swords. Healing begins. You are changing your mindset. And you're definitely, um, you could also be moving. Choose your battles. We got seven. This is seven of wands, I believe. Yeah. Standing your ground. With this fake friend, Divine Masculine. I feel like, too, um, if this is not a feminine energy that was um, fake, it's a masculine energy that wanted to compete with you over leadership. All right, we got, we got the sun here shining. You already know that's all systems go to a pentacles energy. Finding the balance within work and play, work and love life. Finding the balance to it all. Shining your light, the leadership, Zeus, that sun energy, that emperor energy, you know, getting back to that. What's this? Falling angel, spiritual narcolepsy. That's what happened. That's what allowed this situation to happen, right? And we got the fates. So this is what I'm saying. This is faded. This is the hand with this claw energy. Like you, no matter how stubbornly you want to hold on to whatever this may be, whether it's a thought pattern, business, person, place, or thing, um, you know, self identity. With the, I'm telling you, like surrender. Look, this is you surrendering to. Your destiny. You got a little... I feel like you possibly could have even gotten a little straight, a little bit further away from your path. Where you were supposed to be going. I see that. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. And I think that's when their face is going to slip. Like the mask will slip. Like you're going to see how narcissistic someone is. I'm getting feminine. And you know, the cat, that's feminine energy. I'm telling you. You're going to see. Yep. And they're going <laughs> to. When they can't get their way. <laughs> They're going to turn on you like. And then that's when the dog energy, like a loyal friend, a powerful friend, someone is going to help protect you. Or even the Anubis energy within you. Look at this. We got Goddess Persephone and Ruby, the inner queen. Safe to be seen. Gabriel and Turquoise. Okay, this is the Crystal Angels, triple fold. And this is the Crystal Goddesses, triple eight. So, guarantee success, I feel like. It's safe for your inner queens also to be seen. I feel like this is the balance of masculine and feminine energy within you. Okay? Getting it finally balanced out. I still can't believe how that chair, empty, empty chair came out. That's crazy. 
Let's see what Kali got to say on the matter. Divine Masculine. Let's see. Let's see what she's talking about. Yeah, you're going to have to surrender because this you know how eclipse season is. Mercury is in retrograde. Let me tell you the amount of delays. on. I'm like, why didn't they uh, close the highway up where school is officially out? Like, why all of these? And then I said, wait a minute, it's Mercury retrograde. I forgot it rules travel short distance. What did I say? Yo. This is my card. <laughs> Cat hissing. You are going to see somebody's true colors. You hear me? How they really are. You know what I mean? I'm just getting that off the back with that depiction. Irrespective of what the card means. Yeah, look. The Sif. Needing to cut this person out. Needing to cut this feminine energy out. Whoever, whoever she is. It may not just be a lover. This could be a overbearing feminine energy that's in your life, like an auntie or a grandmother or something that wants to see you do something. You know what I mean? Um, this could be a supervisor at work that she's just overbearing. She just or she she like you and she wants wants you to date her, but you ain't feeling that. You trying to pick your battles. You like you know. I don't know if I want to be entangled with anybody that I work with. You know what I'm saying? All of this stuff is coming forward. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I want to um pull before we get started. I think we can get started. That's good enough. We got our crystals. Yeah, we good. The my master. It seems like somebody trying to get you. In some sticky web, like, or they've had you in this sticky web for so long, and they're unwilling to change too because you're evolving. You already know it's this guaranteed success here. I feel like you're evolving, divine masculine, and there could be someone who is like that just doesn't want to see you change and doesn't want to evolve with you or doesn't want the relationship to evolve to a different level like okay this is what it was before um and they don't want that to change we got nine of cups the my masculine a forever duncan is here are you are you wanting to plan a forever duncan and uh someone else doesn't want you to could be even a female friend like let's say you have a female Ooh, okay. So another scenario, you have a female friend. But you also have a feminine energy that you're in love with. And a female friend could possibly be in love with you and not want you to make an offer to this other feminine energy. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Very interesting. Let's see. Ten of Wands. Okay. Choosing your battles. Yep. Um, I feel like this eclipse energy, if you're not ready for it, is um it's gonna bring in a level of anxiety. Look, King of Coins. I think you about that bag. Hold on. Ace of Blades. All right. Yep, this is that cutting out somebody. I said that. Needing to cut out. And then look at the dog. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I got chills. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Queen of Blade. Yep. I seen it. Okay. And Paige, I'll keep that. What's at the bottom of the deck? The Empress. Divine Masculine. Do what you're doing when I see you and I love you, baby. <laughs> I totally fucked it up. Those innocent eyes. 
That smile on your face makes it easy to trust you. Yo. If they only knew, girl with the tattoo of head head rule. <laughs> Listen, doing what you do when I see you. Yeah. Yeah. You see an empress, period. You see an empress. How's that for a ha happily ever after? You are planning a forever Duncan. You are planning to be with the one who sets your soul on fire, who is your wish fulfillment. You are setting yourself up to live that wish fulfillment, no matter what it entails, because the nine of cups entails many things. There's, there's plenty of cups here, plenty plenty of wishes that you may want. Not just a person. You want that bank account filled. You want to take vacations when you're ready. You want to build a legacy for your children. You know what I'm saying? Or potential children that could come in. All of that stuff. You know what I mean? You want to gain a closer relationship to the most high. You know what I mean? If they only knew, girl with the tattoo, if I got to, mm -hmm. see you ain't doing what you do it, what you do it. trying to find balance <laughs> you got a lot of responsibilities of our masculine <laughs> you got a lot of responsibilities i feel like um there's a proverbial surgery that's happening if not a real-time surgery that could possibly be happening um or, okay, for some, this is for a small amount. There could be a medical diagnosis and they are pushing you to get surgery. And that's not something that you want to do. Okay. I'm seeing that. Um, I'm definitely seeing you invest in some holistic healing. Or you might do both, like a minimum minimally invasive surgery okay definitely seeing that all right let's put some clarifications on this girl with tattoo no that's not Um, yeah, somebody's mask is going to flip. I'm feeling like this could possibly be the overbearing feminine energy. I, I was going to say this could be you, but you're guaranteed success. So I'm feeling like, or even if you do have to go for surgery, like the surgery is going to be successful. You have your guardian angels there facilitating this healing. You know what I mean? I'm definitely seeing that. Um... Yeah, but I feel like this is this feminine energy. Maybe this feminine energy relied on your money with the king of coins. Okay. Right? So this could be a baby mother too. Like let's say, for example, you're deciding not to take care of, to pay her rent anymore. Like we're not together. I'm not going to pay your rent. Oh, the Sith came out again, honey. The Sith came out again. Period. You are cutting out any entanglements with the yarn energy. You're just cutting it out. Hold on. Let me make sure that this is still recording. All right. We still going. All right. Just making sure. I gotta make sure because I'm trying a new angle here. 
yeah, so any conundrums there, yeah, I feel like, yeah, any entanglements, any problems, like you are, because you're like, I, you realize what your, where your wish fulfillment is, what is a dream come true to you, you know what I mean? And I feel like where you at or who is around you is not it. It's a complicated circumstance. It's a complicated relationship. It's a complicated entanglement. It's a complicated um, burden. Complicated responsibility. Like you could feel responsible for this feminine energy. And um, I think now you put in that responsibility back in the, into their own hands. You know? Like, if this is a child's mother, like, you like, I'll help you when I can. You know what I'm saying? You know, but I'm going to be taking my children. You're going to be taking your children. You know what I'm saying? You're going to pick your battles. And, you, and like, let's say they want to be controlling about the visitation. You know, you're like, all right, well, you're going to call that bluff. I'm telling you. Yes, the man, you, or the querent. Yeah. The masculine energy. This is what I'm talking about. Because this feminine energy is not gonna have is now going to have to fend for themselves. They are attempting to make you do something against your will, make you pay for something that is not your responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Like enough is enough with that. This could have even been a feminine energy that you said, listen. Let's get out the city. Let's move to the country. Let's do this. Let's do that. But they want to stay in the city. Like, or they want, you know what I mean? And you're like, you know what? I'm out. I'm not going to stay here. If only they knew. Yup. No. Let it be. Exactly. Let them be. Let that person be. On common bond. Yup, yup. You built in something somewhere else. Period. Most highs told you this. You you know this. You know this. Like, yup, breakthrough, aha moment, epiphany, illumination. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Yup. You came to the realization that you was being used. And then now you create you you're definitely par problem solver. You are um, the entrepreneur. You got some new ideas too. Entrep oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so many things is coming up. Okay, okay, okay. With the air element, with the ace of swords. Yes. This is definitely something that is in the making, that has been developing over time. What did I say about creating a legacy for your family? Okay, hold on. Creative. You got some new ideas. And I feel like this feminine energy was um like trying to dissuade you from these new ideas, from you taking possibly your business to the next level. Yeah, man. All right, one more. When I see you, when I see you, baby. <laughs> Cause you do what you do, you do it. <gasps> Scorpio. All right, now let's talk to my masculine. Hold on. And I was singing Miguel. And the man came out twice. Okay. Divine masculine, this is you. This is you needing to be in your energy straight up. So we got the man, the querent. At the bottom of this deck, with and the Empress. Yeah, man. I saw it go. I saw it go. You want the Empress, period. Period. Fiance, spouse, love, interest, masculine energy. That is you. You looking for your Empress. You ready to go. You ready? Or, like I said, because Empress can also, what's what's underneath the Empress is the Page of Coins. So this can also be um, the mother, if you have an earth sign child. So this could be the mother of your earth sign child that you could be um, 
cutting out and she herself could have been exuding masculine energy and that's why she was attempting to force you to do something against your will because she thought she wore the pants in a relationship boom bong boom blizzy listen um uh divine masculine mm -mm, you coming away from that you picking your battles you're like i want to fight for what is my wish what i'm the life that i want to live no longer am i settling for bullshit i'm cutting all entanglements out that do not fill my cups that do not fulfill me you know what i'm saying if all right this feminine energy i feel responsible for them they have been a burden on me you know what i'm saying financially spiritually emotionally all of that stuff but I'm going to pull up my pants. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get into my leadership bag, my God bag, my Godhood. I'm going to face my fear of her taking me to court for child support or whatever. Or whatever bluff. I feel like like this feminine energy could be guilt tripping, could be gaslighting, um, could be sending. I feel like two also sending text messages like, you'll never see the children. Ah, 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 ah. Or whatever the case is, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I need this. I need sending a text. Or oh, the children need this. I need fifty dollars for that. I need two fifty for this. I need two fifty for that. Um, but I feel like this is detachment. It's time to detach from that of feeling responsible for someone else when this is also a grown adult, especially if they were attempting to be in masculine energy. You know what I'm saying? complete this cycle has been complete and let them deal with it let the chips fall where they may you know they'll be all right they'll be all right they may even say like threaten you like i'm gonna kill i don't know what i'm gonna do without you i don't have no life without you i'm gonna kill me i'm gonna kill the cat i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that um Self-reflect, like take that, that time out for yourself to, to, to know if they're bluff, bluffing or not. And either way, that shouldn't stop you from living your life, from you releasing and cutting away what you need to cut. Because it's time for you to receive your harvest. It's time for you now to solve certain conundrums in your life. It's because you've had two-faced energy. Someone has been wearing a mask in your life. Like I said, I'm feeling like you got new money coming in, a new income source coming in. You and your king of coins energy, right? Taurus season, you in your second house, you know, your house of values. You value the time with your children. You know what I mean? Yeah, family manifesting your deepest desires this is what you you trying to save money and i feel like this feminine energy is trying to get you to spend your money and the reason why you're trying to save your money is because you're trying to make a clean break period you got the illumination you got the the um epiphany that you know th this energy is going to continue to life suck you um be careful do not take any risk i feel like to um I don't want to say like financially. I want to say with your health, with your mental health. Don't take any risks. Also with other people's mental health. So even if they're threatening to do that. So let's say they text you like, I'm okay. I'm, that's proof right there. You know what I'm saying? That they need help. You might be able to get them, for them to get some help professionally than them dumping on you emotionally and financially so that way they can manipulate you to be their mule you know what i'm saying to gaslight you into doing their bidding you see what i'm saying stay with me you can't leave me <laughs> you know what i'm saying them type of things we got the ace of blades ace of swords this is what i was saying about there being a new idea you could be writing a book, you know, something that deals with communication. You dealing, you have a whole new idea on um oh, 
okay, all I'm going to say is that the Most High is giving you the answer on how to get out of this entanglement in a clever and smart way. The answer is developing. I think this new business is developing. Um, there could have been a health, health issue that could have been developing, but I think now it's being taken care of. Being diplomatic with the air energy. This is also legal legalities. Okay. So the truth, the facts, evidence, right? I feel like Ace of, Ace of Swords to me is like, is like evidence. You know what I mean? Being presented. So that's why I said, like, if this person gas, gaslights you, threatens you, and they slip up and do it via text or even record phone calls, you know what I mean? Um, any way, any way to, to, get evidence to back up your statement. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm definitely getting. I'm feeling like somebody, she could have also been a drinker. Somebody's a drinker with the wine here developing over time. She could have even be an alcoholic. You know what I mean? Um, likes to spread bit gossip in your business around. You know, this is... All around catty, nasty energy, the lower vibration of cat energy. This is, like I said, this is a fe feminine energy that, yeah, I wanted to tote um, possibly her looks, possibly, um, oh, she had a sharp mouth. She had a nasty mouth, especially when she drinks, especially when she gets some liquor and her, she will say some nasty mean things to you but then you always come back with you know what i'm saying with the love with the with the desire for family and to hold everything together and this feminine energy did not she was doing everything to separate you know what i mean man yeah and i think you're performing the alchemy with that Six of Swords energy, this is why you need to move away. This is why you need to cut out people, places, and things. This is why you possibly had to maybe possibly cut out the, the drinking and stuff like that. Yeah, there's definitely some nasty, there was some nasty talk, nasty rumors being spread. I feel like too spread amongst the family, all of that divine masculine. Yeah, I see that. We got the page of cups here. And I feel like at the end of like if if this is a child, um, if this involves a child, the child is the one that has been um I feel like being used as a pawn as well. The child is being used as a pawn and as a leverage point to get to you because they know how you feel about your family, how you feel about your children, or if not, how you feel about your business. Like, for example, you could be like, all right, let's get a divorce. Let's, you know what I'm saying? Let's separate, whatever. And let's say there's no children, but they know your business is your baby. So they want to like, well, give me half the proceeds of the business. Give me half of the business. I'll help you build that. When really and truly, they didn't lift a finger to help you build that business. You know what I'm saying? They really wasn't. They, yeah, they really didn't do much. <laughs> they didn't do much. They, they, they didn't do much. They didn't do much. Okay. And the children suffer, you know what I'm saying, behind all of this. But I feel like guaranteed success, I think that this is successfully going to resolve itself. I think that um, I feel like, okay, so we got timing. Hold on. We got from three to six months or during the fall. Scorpio season is going to be very, very nice this year. I feel, I feel it. Um, across the board with the nodal energy. I feel like, especially if you do a lot of the clearing work that needs to be done over the summer with the Phoenix energy, you see the sizzling with the hot and it, you know, I feel like during this summer, once you realize that you don't need nobody to fix you, only you can fix you, only you need to fix your crown. You know what I'm saying? You are the leader. There's nothing really for you to fear. 
um from the situation someone is calling um with the and I'm yeah I'm I feel like I feel like she's threatening like to kill herself type of type of deal I'm getting at like you know what I'm saying like crazy like really crazy really some mental issues with the six of swords there's really some real mental issues going on with this feminine energy that's in your life like I said it could be baby mother it could be a mother figure um yeah mental acuity I'm telling you something off mentally with this feminine energy and I'm telling you once you call that bluff once you call that blood, and I feel like calling Anubis energy too with that dog energy. I feel like there could be a, a friend that's going to help protect you through all of this. I'm feeling that. And I think the resolution is going to come during Scorpio season. Like it's going to be, you know what I mean? The delay tactics, trying to delay um, you seeing your child, trying to delay the legal proceedings from coming through, all of that. I'm y'all, I'm telling you, I'm seeing all of that. Hold on. Let me pull some tea on this because they trying it. But that's where the alchemy comes in. This is where you're going to be performing at alchemy, though. This is how you're going to be gaining some wisdom now. You know what I mean? This is how you're going to try and over your troubles. Yeah, don't take any risk. Like, get, get legal advice. Get, get some assistance like don't go go at this alone i see that like you gotta gather up your receipts especially when you're going up against a feminine energy because she might do some crazy stuff that we done seen in the in a, in a tyler perry movie like beat herself up and then say it was you type shit or even beat the child and say it was you type like real some real sick shit damn divine mask i'm sorry but you do, but you're going to be successful. You are protected. You know what I mean? That chair is going to free up for the empress to come and sit down in. You just was in this. Look, perception, visions, downloads, seeing things from a higher perspective. That's what that ego energy. Seeing things from a higher perspective. Like, yo, this merry-go-round. Mary, how could you go? Oh, Brown, you hurt me so. I try so hard to please you, baby. But I just can't see too, baby. Yup. Oh, booty, do, do, do. <laughs> Mary, how could you go? Oh, Brown, look at this abuse. This is what I'm talking about emotional, physical, verbal. This feminine energy. And I'm, I don't know, I'm getting two. I'm getting baby mother and then also mother. Actually, three feminine energies is on the board here. The empress, right, which is a double-edged sword because that could be the mother energy, like your mother energy, that auntie, that grandmother, baby mother, you know what I'm saying? Or, or the woman that is supposed to come into your life. Yeah, you got multiple uh, feminine energies here. Okay, look, Nita, it's right here. It's right here, the divine masculine, right here in one picture. Hold on, this is the nine of cups. I hope you can see. Look, there's three women here. You see what I'm saying? One is his true boo. You see, that's his true boo. And then, and then there's another one that's like, Oh, I'm happy. Okay. And then there's another one that's like, yeah, fake happy. Really not happy. Listen, you... <sighs> I feel like you've been taking this abuse long enough. You're going to have to get this child out of this situation too. Especially if she's using a child as a pawn. As a pawn. Fire for that pawn in their games, okay? Look, repentance, seek of forgiveness, self-forgiveness, restoring faith in yourself. This is what I'm seeing. Like, this is you and the most high. 
You gotta, you gotta, you gotta definitely convene with the Most High on this one. Forgive yourself because, okay, because you could feel a way of, you know, have, having brought this child in to this uh, equation. Oh, somebody could even also be pregnant. Somebody, divine masculine, somebody could also be pregnant and you trying to figure out a way how to, uh, for this pregnancy not to go to fruition. Ooh, be careful. Be careful with that one. Because that's some deep shit. Because I realize that's some deep shit. If you are attempting, like, like let's say you're giving this woman herbs that she doesn't know that could bring about a sign, a, a, a involuntary abortion. You know what I'm saying? Miscarriage, things of that nature. Because that has to be a free will of both parties. You know what I mean? Damn, that's... Ooh, this is entanglement. That's why that yarn came out. Like, but you like, yo, this got to be. This this can't happen. I'm seeing that. Look. Definitely having some telepathic dreams. Or the one that you really supposed to be with. I think you was look, confessions. Yep, you confessing yourself. You're looking at things from the bigger picture. You're confessing. To the most high you also confessing to this energy like i'm i can't be fake anymore like i can't do this anymore either you're gonna respect my boundaries or you not look see celebration you're gonna be happy once this once this culminates yup you're gonna be happy with the new beginning period once this ending commences what's at the bottom we got yep, witchcraft, brujeria. You, I feel like you're dealing with it. You're dabbling in it, definitely. <laughs> Possible feminine energies attempted to, possibly was. But I feel, oh yeah, with this wine here like this, and this blood here like this. Hold on. Divine masculine. Okay. You're like, uh-uh. I'm not, I'm not taking that. No chances. I see that. Let's read something. Cause you're doing what you're doing. And I see you. Baby. Let's read uh safe to be seen. I think it's like you safe to be your original self now. We bring you the gift of safety and being seen. Over lifetimes you have loved the earth, returning again and again to serve humanity. Liberate the human soul from fear and spread a message of love. You have spoken truths, shared messages, and inspired many. Yet in your visibility, sometimes you have felt misunderstood and vulnerable. You have been admired and loved, but at times also feared and attacked for the empowering message you brought to the world. In you, there's a memory of this, and although you wish to share your light with the world again, there are times when the thought of being seen doesn't feel safe. We are here to let you know that you are protected in divine grace. It is time to open up to your inner knowledge and to share your message with the world. The light in you is stronger than fear. It is time to shine fearlessly and bright. Yes, look, look, look. It's time for you to shine fearlessly and brightly, okay? Yep. You you definitely light the wave, okay? You're the light bearer, bearer and the truth bringer in your world and in your relationships. Although you have had past experiences where this was not always well received and sometimes resulted in abusive behavior towards you from those who are afraid of love, you have never closed off your truth. You still know what you know. You may have become reluctant to share it so freely, but you cannot forget your inner wisdom. This oracle comes to you with a message. If it is safe to be seen in this lifetime, you are meant to be a spiritual leader of sorts to bring through the light, peace, love, and guidance that others around you need. Don't be afraid of their reactions. Some will love you. 
for what you do. Others might not. Listen, you have a whole new idea that you bring into the table too. Okay? A whole new idea that you bring into the table. And um, this is going to bring about a new beginning. You got new ideas. All of that. You got new communication with the Most High. All of that. I wanted to read. What did I want to read? I wanted to read Zeus real quick. That leadership. You are called upon to de demonstrate leadership and stewardship within your own life. You may need to delegate for best results. The Greeks saw their deities as mighty and holy, but also with frailties and weaknesses. As humans, we made in God's image, we reflect the best and worst of them. And through their myths, they show us how to live. The king of all Greek gods is the powerful Zeus, son of Titans, Rhea, and Kronos. Often referred to in ancient prayers as father, Zeus is the god of other gods. Look to for the leadership, order, and direction. Zeus defeated or banished his enemies and all who defied him. So although he is a god who is fond of gathering storms among the Greeks, he was recognized more for his skill at creating customs and laws for man and deity alike. The best example of his ability to organize is the Trojan War, which was shaped by his hand from beginning to end. Zeus sometimes takes the form of a mighty eagle and soars around Mount Olympus, surveying his domain with sharp, big picture perception. Yo, all right now, although it is tempting to imagine Zeus as a passive God sitting high up in the clouds on his throne. Oh, that's so crazy. Zeus is powerful in battle and loved hero heroism and striving. The Olympic Games were originally held in honor of Zeus, and it is even said that he competed occasionally. Wrestling is his thing, as did some of the other God, yeah. Yeah, take leadership in your own life. Mm. Listen, <laughs> divine masculine. It's it's really, 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 really all here. You just gotta push past that, and you'll be surprised. I feel like you're gonna be surprised when you call this person's bluff. When you take control of your narrative. When you move forward, when you pick your battles and you like, you know what? You keep that. If it's a divorce and it's like something that and you're like, you know what? You could keep that. And you'll be surprised how the most high replenishes whatever you so-called lost or whatever you needed to cut with something better. Look at this. This has been coming out a lot. You already know. It's, it's, it's time to end the cycles of the repetitious behavior, of cycles not ending, of, of getting the same results, even if it's different people, because this is what I was saying, like different people in different bodies. We know that principality energy likes to embody the ones that we love the most, spread you. Okay? And... You think maybe you cut off your baby mother, but then it turned into auntie, your mother, whatever the case may be. And then that energy takes over. <laughs> Listen, it's time to end the cycle completely. Completely. You're going to be surprised when you take back your power and you start living from desire, like your true des heart's desire. When you start living in your creativity, whatever I... You got the Ace of Swords and also the Ace of Cups. Well, oh, no, that's the Page of Cups. Yeah. It's only going to be a little short. It's, it's only going to feel weird, weird in the beginning for a little while. That you have to bring about some heart heartache. Or you, even you yourself may feel this heartache that you would have to cut this person out of your life. You know what I mean? But I feel like 
you finally attaining that happiness in your home, that peace of mind in your home, a solid, firm foundation for your family, okay, is key. Yeah, you got to be the ice king in order to, to make this, to cut this off. Yeah, but you're not without your passions, but I think it's who you need to, it, you're not sharing the passions with the right person. Let me get one more, please, for the divine master. It's the nine of cups. That passion is the nine of cups. Look, look. Ending a union that was cutting your freedom or going into a union that you still, that you now you're free to go into the union that you want to be in. Look, because it's your destiny. Period. Period. It's your destiny, honey. Doing when you do doing when I see you. Yeah, I can't. I don't know why I'm so giddy. Doing what you're doing. That shit has been on repeat. Don't you lose yourself along the way. No, no, because we, you do it when you do it. All right, we got runner. Yeah, I'm on. I like you. Separation. Dragonfly. Yeah, lighthearted. Finding things out. We got abundance coming in for you. And hand of cards. Take a risk. It says, be careful. Do not take a risk. And this one says, take a risk. Be strategic, though. Weighing out your out, yeah. Be strategic. It's a game of chess. Okay. Hide your hand. All right. Not showing your hand. Yup. Especially with narcissistic, antagonistic. Um. Yeah. Especially when it comes to your abundance too. Yup. Move some finances around. You know what I'm saying? Be grateful for what you got. Be grateful that the Most High is giving you a way to come out of this, a separation. Unsure of the future. You know what I mean? But you're running towards someone that, that you really like. That's the thing. You're running towards someone that you really care for. It's that time. It's not just women that hold on to relationship that done dead. Men do it too, you know. Men do it too. Big time. Now as you receiving what you need, progression, moving on, close your issues. Close it. Close that chapter. Take that chance. Be strategic. You have a lot of options on how to how to go about doing this. How to go about bringing this separation. Alright. Yeah, it's deep. It's deep, divine masculine. Yeah, I felt it. I felt it like you yearning. For a real, true love. You're yearning for what is destined for you. You're yearning for a passionate relationship. You're yearning for a family of your own. You know what I mean? This could be... Man, I don't even want to say that shit. But it's the truth. Like, you know, for those masculine energies that don't have any children. And you've been taking care of an elderly parent, grandparent. You know what I'm saying? A feminine energy that just wants to keep you underneath her, her, her wing. Like wants to keep the back of your ear still wet when you need to now create your own legacy, family legacy. You need to create your own family. Like, you know what I'm saying? What about your own children now? She done raised you already. You know what I'm saying? So now where's your, where's the fruit of your loin? Huh? She'll get over it. If she really love you, she'll get over it. You making the decisions that you're supposed, supposed to make for your life as a man. To ride to. I don't nobody guilt trip you. I don't let nobody guilt trip you. Yep. Yeah. That's why the man card came out twice. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Confess to yourself, Bridget. You letting this Uman run you. Yep. 
And it and then it pushes away feminine energy that you're supposed to be with. That shit is crazy. That shit is crazy. Or X that's just bent, hell bent on keeping um, you know, true love out of your life. Nah, so we ain't into that. All right, Divine Masculine. With that, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Got some clarity. Got some guidance. You know what I'm saying? Now you're going to be able to make your game plan. Do what it do. You know what I'm saying? Because it's time to do you. And with that, I'm going to see y'all in the check-in. Peace.